Hey, Albany Rose and Brandon, it's Dr. Rucker. I'm not coming to you today with a tag lesson, but I'm here to provide you with some more insight on your reading strategy that you're working on in your gen ed classroom. So just like last year when I used to pull you guys for advanced reading, this is what we're doing now. I'm pulling you for advanced reading, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna focus on is standard RL2, where you recount stories, including fables and folk tales from diverse cultures, and determine their central message, lesson, or moral. And our learning target is explain how the central message, lesson, or moral is conveyed through key details in the text, okay? So before we get into our actual lesson, uh, what I want you to do is look at these vocabulary terms. So in our standard, we have a lot of different words that you may or may not be familiar with. So what I'm going to do is review these words so that you're, you truly understand what it is that you should be doing, okay? So for recount, recount is to tell someone about something or an event or an experience when you retell it. Um, so recount and retell go hand in hand, okay? Fable. A fable is a short story typically with animals as characters conveying a moral. Folk tale. A story that is passed on by word of mouth and a culture from generation to generation. And then we have theme. The theme, um, theme is the central message or what the author wants you to learn or know. So some examples of a fable would be uh, like the tortoise and the hare. We know that with the tortoise and the hare, the message or the moral of the story is slow and steady wins the race. Although the tortoise uh, was slower than the hare, the tortoise actually won. The hare, you know, he took off and he, different things happened throughout that story where he took naps and he just thought that he just knew that he was going to win because the tortoise is supposed to be slow. Okay, but the moral of the story was slow and steady wins the race. And an example of a folk tale would be Goldilocks and the Three Bears. That's a story that has been passed on from generation to generation, okay? What I'm going to do now as I grab this book, we're gonna, I'm going to read this book, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. And this is a fable, okay? This story um, is a retelling of Aesop's fable, all right? And in this book, it actually has the definition of fable. So it says, what is fable? A fable is a story that teaches a lesson. In some fables, animals may talk and act the way people do. A Greek slave named Aesop created some of the world's favorite fables. Aesop's fables have been enjoyed by readers for more than 2,000 years. All right. So starting the book. Once upon a time, there was a young shepherd boy. That's the shepherd and his sheep. Okay. Every morning, the boy took his father's sheep to graze on a mountain pasture outside the village. All day, he stayed in the lonely pasture with the sheep. All righty. One day, the boy was bored. He decided to play a joke on the villagers. He ran to the village and cried, Wolf, help! There's a wolf attacking my sheep! The kind villagers left their work and came running to chase the wolf away. So they're going to try to help him. But it was a trick. The sheep were grazing peacefully. There was no wolf. The boy laughed. How easily he had fooled them. The boy played the same trick again and again. Each time the villagers came running, each time there was no wolf. How do you think that's making them feel, the villagers? One day, wolves really did attack the boy's sheep. The frightened boy ran to the village and screamed, Help! Wolves are attacking my sheep! But no one listened to the boy. No one came to help. The villagers didn't believe the boy and the wolves ate his sheep. Because the boy had lied so many times, 
Nobody believed him, even when he was telling the truth. And that is the end. All right, so going back to our learning target, where we explain how the central message, lesson, or moral is conveyed through key details in the text. After reading The Boy Who Cried Wolf, what is the central message or lesson or moral that is conveyed through that text? Okay, so what I want you to do is to recount this story, all right, in words, write it out, all right, and then I want you to identify the central message, lesson, or moral in that story. If you have any questions, please contact me at the school or you can email me at rookerad at fultonschools.org. I'll see you guys next week.